Hello my friends of Battery Labs, my name is Ol Montoya, please welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to calculate the solubility of anhydride and gypsum with temperature. Okay, so the, this is actually the, uh, our version of the exercise 2 of the Frixi documentation. And where we have the, the Frixi um, out is um, very... Um, um, the, the terminology, wait, I will close everything. Uh, okay. And then I will show you the... Okay, so we have a solution that is pure water. I mean, what does it mean pure water that is on... that is uh, H2O, okay? And it is, and then you insert an equilibrium phases that is with gypsum and anhydride. Okay, the target um, saturated index is zero, so it means that it's an equilibrium. However, it can be an equilibrium at the specified saturated index. Okay, and then you have one mole. Okay, and you have the the, the temperature will go from 25 degrees to 75 degrees Celsius degrees. In 51 steps okay uh, let's talk a little bit about what is an equilibrium phase an equilibrium phase means that and then I will bring you this from the documentation and say uh, Phases that brought in this data block, uh, each phase will dissolve or achieve will dissolve or precipitate to achieve equilibrium. Okay, each phase will dissolve or precipitate to achieve equilibrium. Okay, so it means that the saturation index is what is zero or any specified or will dissolve completely okay and this is the very important term will dissolve completely i mean if it cannot reach saturation it will dissolve completely okay so that's why because in the end we will see that even that for this for 25 degrees for anhydride it is undersaturated okay so the saturation index is minus 0 0.3 okay and then we will see that how this uh, and gypsum achieve equilibrium at 25 degrees because for gypsum for gypsum for the for the gypsum it will dissolve or precipitate to achieve equilibrium however for uh for this is for gypsum while for uh, anhydride it will dissolve completely okay kind of tricky to understand but uh it took me some time okay so let me show you okay so this is uh, okay so let's work with that uh, we are going to simulate this and analyze the results in um, in Python okay so this tutorial is heavily dependent on Python um, and then we are going to oh sorry I yeah we the this is for Frixi. Sorry, sorry. So this is exercise two. Okay. So um, under the original under the original exercise, we create a graphic, but we are going to create these graphics through the library that through the class that we have through the Python class that we have developed. And then you will see how we achieve the same the same graphic. I mean, and then how we are sort this graphic. Okay, so we are going to use Anaconda for our tutorial. Uh, Jupyter Lab. So let's type Anaconda. See the document. Please place the the folder under your document folder so everybody can have the same parts. And let's say CDX2. Gibson and then launch Jupyter Lab. You can do it in Jupyter Notebook as well. With Anaconda. 
Okay, great. So here we have. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're going to see something like this. I use the dark team, but for you, I will change to the. Okay, so this is the in. Okay, temperature dependence of solution. And then we have a script here. This is a script, and then say clear all outputs. Okay, first we import the required uh, classes. So we are going to import the from working tool that is this this file. We are going to import Frixi model. Okay, and from padlib we are going to import path. Okay, so here we are going to use the uh, Frixi database and as well the bat the we have installed Frixi 3 that you can download it from this URL and then we create our Frixi model our object okay so in this we only define where the executor are and which is the database that we are going to work okay in this case this is our input file x2a and then here in output we are going to create the x2a dot out okay so this is the the input and the output file and then we can run the model okay and this is kind of tricky because well i did this class and somehow you have you have to be sure that you get this in otherwise it means that you have done something wrong okay and actually you don't get nothing from that okay so yeah so we have run the model and then we can see which are the simulations we found one simulation okay so and this the the one of the temperature dependence okay and then we are going to get the simulation okay so we have an initial solution and then we have batch reaction calculation for the first simulation and then this one has this batch reaction has 51 reaction steps if we need more information about the sim the simulation this is the this is how where the break lines actually this doesn't start from zero this is the start from a specific keyword but those are the break lines initial solution batch reaction okay if you want to know from which are the what you how the class have parsed the uh, the output file okay so we get the initial solution so for the initial solution we have the composition description distribution of pieces and saturated index uh, this is pure water so in the uh, solution composition we have pure water but actually pure water is that you have uh, a P, pH is 7, a P is 4, the specific content is pure water, it has no salt, it's 0. The density should be 1, but it's something really close to 1. The volume should be 1 as well, but it's close to 1. And that's it. And then pure water has hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, so the distribution of species is hydrogen uh water uh, we have dissolved hydrogen um, yeah we have hydrogen um, and then we don't have dissolved oxygen okay here but mostly we have water and then we have and then we have we cannot is undersaturated of hydrogen is undersaturated of uh, dissolved um, of gas wa uh, water but in gas form and is undersaturated of ox oxygen okay well this is just water this is the normal speciation of water but let's work with the reactions okay so let's get the first reaction or well let's get the we have um, we are going to print from the simulation dict 
This is a dig that I have made in order to define how many reaction steps there are. Okay, so if we open this, actually we can, I don't know where, why I cannot open from. If I open this with notepad, okay. We see here reaction step one, and then we will see reaction step 51, I guess. Okay, so, and then it says use the deletion solution, pure water, and, and use the temperature one. Okay, so the temperature one is 25. It's 25, yeah. However, the next one will be 26. Okay, so for reaction two, reaction step two, we have the temperature 26, okay? And then we have, yeah. Um, and this is what we have. In this case, what we show is just the reaction number one. Yeah, you can get any, okay, in this case, we are going to get the reaction one. If you get, if you type here two, you are going to get the reaction two. And then from that, we get phase assemblage, okay? Uh, solution composition, description of solution, distribution of species, and saturated index. So let's see, this is the phase assemblage. So where we have anhydride, that is anhydride has from the mold that you have inserted in the in the reaction, it has completely dissolved and is even undersaturated. Okay, while gypsum is in equilibrium. Okay, so in the end you have amine and the anhydride that has been dissolved has precipitated. No, ha, yeah, has precipitated as gypsum. Okay, so it has dissolved anhydride and precipitated as gypsum. Okay, so because at the beginning you have one mole of gypsum and then you have one mole 0.98, okay, of gypsum. Okay, the solution composition, then what, what it has not precipitated is on the, is on solution. Okay, so it, at the beginning, you have one mole of anhydride and one mole of gypsum, okay? So you have two moles, something like that. But in the end, it has precipitated 1.985 of gypsum, so it remains the, the rest here that is as calcium, as a sulfate, okay? And then we have the description solution, and this the pH, this is calculated, okay, from the temperature. Yeah, because in the beginning it was six, seven, sorry. The, the density is also calculated. Mm -hmm. The distribution of species. So then we have more species, but we can see how are the species. And then we see that we have calcium. For calcium, mostly is as a, a calcium cation cation and as calcium sulfate and from sulfur is a sulfate and a calcium sulfate okay the rest is not relevant but however we have some even some values for for this and we have some from this but it's not relevant to the overall distribution then we have some saturated index and then we see that if we run this uh, Sorry, this has to be 12. Okay, so it is, um, okay, okay. It is undersaturated to anhydride and is in equilibrium with gypsum. However, the values are really, really small to the undersaturation of hydrogen and sulfate hydrogen and sulfur, okay? but it's undersaturated. Okay, great. So let's continue about the, let's do a loop because we want to see how is the saturation of anhydride and gypsum with temperature. So in the end, we are going to see how we have 51, okay? And this is the, this is the dictionary for the first battery reaction. And then we, for each batch reaction, we are going to store the temperature, the saturation of anhydride and the saturation of gypsum. And from this, you can store anything that is, for example, if you want to see the saturation of sulfur, 
the saturation of of whatever I mean the 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 concentration of calcium uh, plus two or the calcium sulfate with temperature you can do it as well because what we are doing here is we are looping over the different steps and then we are going we are doing some we are we got the batch reaction this is the batch reaction i mean this is for for every step we get the batch reaction and then for example we get the, the description solution in order to get the temperature for example and then we this is pandas i mean we use pandas to do the filtering okay and from the saturation index we as well store the um, for the anhydride we store the saturation index and for the gypsum we store the saturation we append this to a list that where we store that okay so so here we have all the temperature for each bar reaction these are the, all the a saturation the saturation of anhydride and this is all the saturation of gypsum so if i run this yeah and this is just matplotlib what we get is this okay so if you so what does it mean so at temperatures that range from 25 to 55 okay if you add anhydride, it will dissolve, okay? But if we, if you add gypsum, the gypsum will remain in equilibrium, okay? However, from 55 onwards, I mean, maybe 54 onwards, if you add gypsum, it will dissolve, while if you add anhydride, if you get anhydride, it will, that will be on equilibrium, okay? So the, let's see that bef below 20, 53 all anhydride will be dissolved while gypsum will be in equilibrium while in uh, above 50 54 all all anhydride will remain in equilibrium while gypsum will be dissolved okay so this is the tutorial for this and this comes from the second this is the version of this um, that come from the Frixi and this and then I think that this is for because you find documentation for Frixi 3 and then from Frixi but this I think that this is from Frixi, Frixi. The, the, one, the documentation for Frixi T is kind of different okay but however it's kind of the same and I hope that you find this tutorial useful. It's entirely Python pandas uh, to understand uh, the speciation modeling and the reaction. Um, well, there is a, there was a tutorial of Frixi uh, of saltwater speciation, and we hope we can deliver more tutorials on that in the coming weeks. Thank you for following us and hope to see you in coming tutorial. Have a great day. My, my name is Saul Montoya from Catary Labs and see you. Bye bye.